Welcome back to the 2010 All-Star Classic from Dallas, Texas. There you see the scoreboard. East 4, West 2. East basically already got this one locked up, but we're playing game number 7 anyway. And let's take a look at the West Coast lineup. You got Walshie sitting in seat 1. Walshie from Carbon, of course. Next to him, Hysteria from Triggers Down, rocking the Red Gunners. He's sitting next to Snipe Down, the lead slayer for Believe the Hype. And at the far end here... We got Cloud, one of the nastiest snipers in the league from Instinct. And then on the East Coast side, we got a very happy Triggers Down best man sitting next to Ogre 2 from Final Boss. In seat number three, we have Elamite Warrior rocking the White Gunners here from Instinct. And at the far end, it's the captain of Status Quo, Flamesword, who just had a very impressive game number six. Here we go, guys. It is time for the final game of the night. Capture, or sorry, Team Slayer on Amplified. Can you imagine capturing the flag on Amplified? That'd be really awesome. Be ridiculous. <laughs> Here we go, guys. Amplified, no power weapons, no power ups. To use the battle rifle, teamwork, communication, and positioning, we're going to get this one started with the man, the myth, the snipe down. Here we go. Snipe down from Believe the Hype. The only one from Believe the Hype to be voted into this one. And it's pretty surprising the whole, how all the Believe the Hype players, they won the last national championship. They haven't had the best year, though. Now they definitely had a rough journey in D.C., but everyone knows Snipe Down and the skill he possesses, especially from back in the days on Stray Ripping. Here we can see how he starts this game. He's going to be taken down, but let's stay on board with Snipe Down for a little bit. Haven't seen much out of him recently, and I want to see what his shot's looking like going into the first day of competition, which starts tomorrow. We got Snipe Down going up against Ogre 2. Ogre 2 with a nice grenade is going to finish that one. Meanwhile, checking out the scoreboard, looks like... We got East Coast off to an early 5-4 lead. Yeah, Chris, I've been surprised with this East Coast squad. They've been playing great teamwork this entire All-Star class. They've got a lot better teamwork so far than the West Coast team, the team I predicted to win. I'm a little sad. I wish I thought the West Coast really was going to have this one. Yeah, West Coast, I mean, the firepower on that squad is just ridiculous, but East Coast seem to be just a little bit more well-rounded, and they've been taking turns whoever's going to have that huge game. I don't want to put the blame on anyone. But I'm going to say Tally might have been able to pick a little bit better lineups regarding oh, the game types. Tally called out by Shockwave. You know what? Come on. Next year, I actually want you two to battle each other as the coaches. Could we please do that? That would be amazing. No, because then there'd be no one up here to talk. <laughs> what if, what if, no one wants to so listen to Puckett for a whole night. <laughs> what, if, what if we pick the lineups and then come back up here? Uh, you know what? Maybe we'll make a deal with the coaches. Okay. All right. All right. We'll see what we can do. But here in 2010, you are checking out game number seven of the All-Star Classic featuring the 16 top Halo players voted in by the fans. Right now, you're checking out Walshie from Team Carbon set up on top of the red right tower. He's got Cloud running bottom middle, and Cloud is just going to do cleanup work as Walshie's really just basically the anchor here. Yeah, and Walshie's been known to stay on this red tower. He doesn't leave it, and he just stays there, and it's just a nuisance for the other team. And he's really good. He's very good at his positioning on top of that red tower. You can see him using that little fin to basically hide from anyone trying to shoot him around the map. Yeah, can we go over to Hysteria, however? So Walsh was sitting on the red fin. Hysteria just got taken down. Don't go to him. But he was sitting top gold lane down. Heavy, heavy cover fire. But still, when I'm watching the West Coast, I'm impressed by everything that's going on. But when I look down, I see East Coast is still in the lead on the scoreboard. It's very, very shocking, Chris. And Best Man is going to pick up another kill there on Walsh. Let's go to the Beast Man. Making his way bottom middle. Here's the call out. Doesn't shoot Snipe down instead. Waits for him to turn the corner. The grenade barely missed it. And now he's going up against his teammate. Hysteria. Hysteria going to win that one. Just bouncing all over the walls I, right there. I just love the consistency out of the East Coast squad. You were saying, even though the West Coast squad doesn't seem like they're losing in these battles or these games, the East Coast just constantly has a lead on them. It's just been a consistent play throughout the entire Classic. Best man going for the long range grenades on his, or on his teammate. Meanwhile, he's going to be pushing in here over on gold side. Great cover fire as El Might Warrior is going to clean up a double kill across the map from red base. And we got best man doing work. Down low, sitting over at blue base, now making his way bottom middle. He's going to be finally cleaned up. Guys, what are you liking here? I'm liking the setup right now that the East Coast had. They had guys constantly getting on top of the towers, which is exactly what you need to do well in this map. Elamite Warrior going on 
trying to put some shots on Cloud. Missing a few on Hysteria there, just a bit to the right. Cloud and Hysteria are going to survive as they tighten up the score here. It's now just a four kill lead for the East Coast as we are watching Flame Swords from status quo trying to set up over here on Pink. He's taking heavy fire, and I don't know how he stayed alive through that. I'm not sure either, Chris, but he, even though he's no shields, he's still putting shots in to help out Ogre 2. And unfortunately for him, Ogre 2 couldn't finish the kill on Hysteria, and that oh, is a rough spot. <laughs> West Coast, Halo's trying to help you out here. <laughs> well, the West Coast right there was making a huge push. They're only down by three right now, Puggate. They almost had the East Coast locked in a base. They could have gotten a spawn kill, but a great job staying alive by Best Man. And Snipe down going off here. He's already got 15 of his team's 35 kills. Yeah, quite impressive. And the two people I was impressed with the most, well, three people on the West Coast, has been Snipe down, Lunchbox, and Neighbor. Neighbor put up 218 kills in the Team Slayer. He's ready for this event, Chris. Neighbor yeah. feeling good. He's taking this one super serious. Snipe down doing work here in game number seven. We are watching, though, as Hysteria from Triggers down. Some solid shots. Out of nowhere comes the flying best man, his teammate, who picks up the kill. And now you're checking out Snipe Down leading all players with 16, but it's just a one kill game as Wes coming back late in this one. Hysteria and Snipe Down working well together. Best Man's going to take down Walshing, but Hysteria's there to take down Best Man. And nice job once again, Snipe Down cleaning up a kill, helping out Hysteria. The teamwork starting to show at the second half here 45 to 44. Snipe down, taken down for number 46 over on gold. Hysteria putting shots, and now East is just running away with this one as Best Man picks up his triple kill. Looking for the over, couldn't find it. 49, and here is 50. Snipe down, couldn't get it, and there we go. Over two gets the kill on Cloud. Wow, so Chris, not to rub it in or anything, but Scott totally called this one. Yeah, I had a lot of faith in this West Coast squad. They just couldn't pull it together. They didn't have the teamwork I thought they were going to have. All right, we'll take a look at the stats. Congratulations, Scott. He's cheering yep. up here in the booth. Ogre 2 plus 5, best man plus 4 on the other side. It was Snipe Down doing big things all game. 19 kills, 16 deaths. That's positive 3. So the final score here on the main stage. East Coast back on top again after West Coast win in 2009. 5-2. to two. East Coast, your 2010 champions. Guys, that is going to do it for the All-Star Classic. We're going to do a commercial break. When we come back, we'll wrap up the evening.